Nice weather in Tokyo means time for a picnic. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Stay in When it's not too hot and the sun is out, one thing we like to do is go for a picnic. We usually head to Yoyogi Park, order a pizza, and have them deliver it to us near an entrance, but we thought we'd go to some place we hadn't been to in a while. Seijo Gaku and Mai is a mid to upper class residential area in Tokyo's Setagaya Ward. There are some good takeout options near the station, so we just came with a mat and a bottle of wine. Japan has a lot of good bakeries, and luckily one of them was here Anderson Bakery. Like a lot of bakeries, there were just a ton of delicious looking options. With so much to choose from, it can be hard at times to not just go and buy everything, but we managed to maintain our self control. With the bread down, it was time to get the other stuff. We went over to one of our favorite markets, Seijo Ishi, which started right here in this neighborhood. Seijo Ishi has a lot of good stuff to choose from, but it can be a bit pricey $60 melons, $30 grapes. You get the point. I'm sure they taste great though. Let's see what else they have. We decided on some prosciutto, brie, and some olives to go with our bread we just got. Today's picnic destination, Kinuta Park. Tokyo is a huge city, but there aren't enough easily accessible, free to use parks that are nice. Many aren't wide open like this, and some don't even have grass. So, this is kind of a gem. No bicycles, no ball games, no pets at all. It's pretty strict. <laughs> no fun. Sit down and eat. We laid out our mat, made our lunch, kicked back, and enjoyed the rest of the day. Living in such a concrete jungle, it's really refreshing to have these mini escapes from time to time. Thanks for joining us on our Tokyo picnic. Give me a sign.